morning everyone welcome back to the channel welcome back to mcm outdoors i am in the glorious peak district and what a morning i'm in the derwent valley and um, i'm going to go and do a nice circular route it's about 15 kilometers of all port castles lovely day off work thought i'd pack my stuff there's a bit of pressure with regard to wild camping at the moment so i'm just playing it by ear so i thought i'd do a nice day hike in this lovely part of the uk hopefully you're going to enjoy the scenery on this one I'm going to go to all port castles it's a lovely uh, rock formation a little bit of scrambling we'll try and get to the top of one of the towers there and yeah the glorious peak district look at it lady bower reservoir over to Derwent Edge on the top there. What a lovely part of the world, lovely day, and hopefully gonna capture it for you all. So, enjoy. So it's a fair old slog up from the air, from the car. Been going about 15 minutes, quite a bit of a scent. So it gets the old temperature up. That's why I haven't got very many layers on. I'm in this lovely forest. And when you look over the other side of the valley, you can hear all those, the wind and those pine trees sound that I love. I always talk about it. But how nice is it? There's no one about, not a soul about, really quiet and it's going well so far. Lovely and relaxing. Lots of different bird life around. I brought the binos with me on this one. So I'm gonna have a little look, you know, when I'm having a little stop for something to eat, have a little look around. And I brought the compass and I printed off a section of the one to 25,000 OS map for this area. I'm gonna brush up on the old map and compass skills. I might just touch on a few bits, give a few pointers. Uh, but there's loads of videos online just to help you refresh on your skills one thing i was surprised about last time i've sort of took a real interest in that topic was going back to like the year 2000 when i was at uni so i was using my compass up in up in these mountains in spain and it's one of them mirror ones good one by silver like a sighting compass and there's a little adjustment screw on the underside of the bezel for adjusting the declination. I remember it was a it was a couple of degrees west, about two degrees west, and now it's changed as the magnetic field of the earth has changed. And it's pretty close to zero and it's bordering on east now, so it's swapped to the other side. It's always something to bear in mind if you if you want real accurate bearings or you know you're navigating long distances in poor weather conditions so obviously just be aware of the declination which is just the variation in the earth's magnetic field relative to where you are in the world so we're all right here in the uk pretty much it's uh, it's next to nothing at the moment certainly in this area we're at the center center of the world Anyway, I'll put the camera away, we'll crack on until we come to the next landmark. So that's the top of the first ascent done. Reach the river plateau for a bit and go across this patch of farmland and those buildings there 
a locker brook outdoor centre. See a nice patch of birches just before the pines there. But how nice, you know, taking it all in, the sights, the sounds, it's just sheer mindfulness, absolute mindfulness. And it's brilliant. It's so good, so good to be out again. You know, a little bit further afield. And yeah, I would have liked to take the tent out, but it's a, it's a hot potato at the moment. I'm not saying I'm not. Um, I mentioned in the group last night. In future, I'm not gonna mention the location for the time being. Um, you know, number one, you should always be seeking the permission of the landowner. Number two, I'm not publicising it. I know it's a bit of a contradiction in terms because it's going on YouTube, but you know, I don't think the activity, proper respect for wild camping should stop. I just think we should do our bit to just dial down the volume on it a little bit, take the heat off. Part of the fitness drive as well. You know, it's not the highest one in the peaks. You know, it's a hilly area, it's not mountainous, is it? But it's about building the fitness back up, slowly but surely. Look at this, just look at that. What a lovely open scene. I'm gonna head down there, take a left, and then up and onto the moors. So just an update on the route, as far as the eye can see, that higher ground, we're making our way all the way over there, then we're going to be dropping down, crossing the road in the valley, on up over this hill, I think it's Crookstone, um, Crookstone Hill, I'll get back to you when I've looked at the map again, that little V, I think it's Blackley Clough, and then following it all the way back round to fair homes so it's a fair old uh, fair old hike about 15 kilometers but it's nice bit of a brisk breeze and um, when i get to the location where i'm thinking about getting the drone out i'll i'll just assess the weather conditions if it's if it's a non-starter we're not going to have drone footage but we'll see hopefully hopefully we will but yeah let's crack on we've got a fair way to go
there's uh, there's peregrine falcon nests in that cliff face I've heard them I've not seen them yet but anyway we're just starting the ascent up this tower should be good I'm gonna wear uh, I won't be able to film all the way up because I'm gonna need to use my hands and stuff just on that bit there but when we get to the top it should give us some some good views into this lovely valley and then we're gonna go back up and have our lunch up there so we're going up that bit of a chimney and I will speak to you when we are near the top that's the first little bit of scrambling done if I just turn you around a few more little rocks and uh, we'll aim for that bit of a gap just there what a place imagine sleeping up here after a few craft beers right let's get up there well your heart rate's going just being careful but yeah really at the top one small section to go and then we'll top out on the tower at Allport so we get round the corner and I'll show you the views Ooh. just going to watch the old footing up here don't want to go down there I'm going to stay for a couple of photos it's always a little bit vertigo inducing up here I think so yeah especially in the wind so be a little bit careful take a couple of photographs and then uh, we'll head back down onto the flatter ground All port castles. So that's a nice little scramble up there. If you don't like heights and you don't like exposure, I wouldn't recommend it. I did it a little bit to push myself because the older I've got, I don't particularly like exposure anymore. I don't know why that is. Um, I used to go scrambling, grade one scrambling, and think nothing about it. But now, um, it's just a weird thing. I can't really explain it. I don't know if anyone else is like that. So it was a bit of a conquer your fears type scenario, just making myself go and do it, really. Uh, so yeah, but get a bit twitchy up there. Um, here's, a, here's an orc, orc hole yeah I'm glad I did it it's reminded me that I don't want to do crib gock I don't want to do any of those hideous ridges um, I'll just stick to the stick to the path from now on that's uh, it's not my bag that it makes me feel sick it's just got to like, get vertigo this hideous creature creature from the Black Lagoon right one last look at the tower before we go We've got the jacket on because it's a bit cold so yeah I think we'll get this guy off the path because he's gonna get run over 
some hideous kind of like dung beetle thing it's on its back there saves him getting squashed by these walkers right it's uh it's up back up to where these guys are then we're gonna head a right go all the way down imagine this isn't there all the way down toward the road to Old Port Farm and Old Port Castles Farm. And then we're going to be at valley level for a bit, make our way uh, in that direction. I was going to blag it with the compass bearing. And then we're going to start the ascent up to Crookstones Hill and be hot and sweaty again. I'll bring you back when the views open up again. So yeah, we'll have to see how it goes on the wild camping front. I'm not going to overdo it, which is a shame really, because I've been waiting for for months, you know, through lockdown to, to come out and do it again. But, you know, I think it's more important. I'm not preaching, it's cringy as anything that, isn't it? But I think it's more important in the long term to protect it than to, and to overdo it I have seen some there's some shocking examples about I'm not gonna I'm not gonna name names or go into details but I've seen some absolutely awful examples um, and it's no wonder you know people are getting into a bit of bother it's worth noting though that I think the media play a big part in this like they play a big part in everything that's bad frankly I'm not going there but the way they portray wild camping as though people you know just tipping up at the side of the road with a bunch of pop-up tents and leaving them and they refer to that as wild camp wild camping so then people that don't know otherwise presume that that's what wild campers do so once again the mainstream media have got a lot to answer for like most other problems in life frankly but i could rant about them for about two hours we just get out of this wind yeah i'll shut up victor meldrew <laughs> anyway this is the terrain it's quite nice i've just come over this bit of a hill this looks glacial to me um, looks like a bit of a, you know, moraine, um, all this area, although I haven't looked at it, it's like sandstone beds, horizontal sandstone beds, so, whereas Winnet's Pass is, is a reef, which is obviously from, you know, many, 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 many years ago, this, I don't know, I'll do some looking up, do some research, but the landscape looks like a, you know, glacial moraine, terminal moraine, drumlins, stuff like that. Anyway, I'll shut up. <laughs> Waffling.
What a stunning spot. Well, what a change. We are in a hideous haunted forest. Spooky place. We're heading down to something called Hagwater Bridge. I wonder, I wonder how it got its name. Hagwater. Is it anything to do with witches? Or is it to do with peat? Peaty water, hag, peat hags? I don't know. I prefer to think it's to do with witches and hags and that they inhabit this forest. Look at the light. Darkness. Let's keep our eyes peeled and listen for cackles. Yeah, definitely feeling it now. Look at them views though, over my shoulder. Loose hill, wind hill. It's certainly a decent walk this. Oh. Not long to go. Oh, I think there's a Radox bath, possibly with a beer. Got my name on it. When I get back, here we go. Lockerbrook, Fair Homes. That's our destination. Back to the car at Fair Homes. me done folks it's uh, it's 25 to 6 I've been out of the car since around quarter past 20 past 9 so I've been out all day in the glorious Peak District National Park absolutely spectacular I've got lucky with the weather it's just starting to cloud over now and it looks like there's a few showers incoming so for once got really lucky with that if you enjoyed it give it a quick thumbs up if you're on Facebook come and join our Facebook group loads of tips and advice and it's a friendly and welcoming environment if you're on Instagram MCM Outdoors is too and I put pictures on you know and uh, stories from walks like today so don't miss out if you're on Instagram come and follow me on there if you don't mind go and enjoy our outdoor spaces yourselves look after them leave them absolutely pristine even more important at the moment when there's more pressure on our outdoor spaces we've got to absolutely leave no trace no matter what we're doing banana peels orange peels doesn't matter whether it biodegrades or not might make sure that you take absolutely everything home with you and just look after our you know spaces like this so our children and their children can come out and enjoy it and enjoy the things we do so look after it look after each other take care and i will see you on the next adventure
。